Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, um, I will be doing a tutorial with the new Jack in the Hill um, in Morphe Dark Magic palette. This is part of her vault collection with them. Uh, this video is actually already filmed, so I'm actually filming it because I was not happy with how that one looked. Or just going, I was just editing and I was just like... I don't like it so I decided to trash it and I was like I'm just gonna refilm it so this video was supposed to go up Saturday but it's going up Wednesday so um which is tomorrow so uh yes yeah, so I'm gonna give you my thoughts on the palette you've obviously know that I've already played with it I've already put it on my lids and everything this will be my second time playing with it. I haven't touched it ever since that day. I haven't played with uh, makeup at all since that day. But um, this is a palette. This is what it looks like. Um, and as you can see, it's already been played with. It's already been swatched. Um, there's some shades that are really pretty. Some shades I really enjoy. So I'm basically going to recreate the same look I had already done with this palette but I can tell you that the one shade that really just didn't impress me was Inside Job. I used all of the shades except for Mojo and Temptress I believe but other than that I used all the shades. I'm gonna actually use actual setting powder this time so I'm not gonna use Poof. The reason I'm gonna do that was because I feel like it might have contributed to the way the shades applied to my lids which probably doesn't but I actually want to set them because I didn't set them last time and then I went in with the first eye and I was like, mm, maybe I should set it. But um, So I'm going to use actual setting powder. But other than that, I used all the shades. The only shade that didn't really wow me was inside jaw because as I was applying it to one of my eyes, well, I did it to one of the eyes only, like it was really patchy. Like I had like a line of that green shade on my crease and it just wouldn't blend out. And as much as I tried, it wouldn't blend out. So, um, yes. So, um, oh, Busted. I really didn't try Busted either, actually. And that, I think that was it. So, I'm gonna do swatches and I'm gonna tell you how they feel. And how they swatch, I guess. Yeah, I guess you'll see. I know I've seen a lot of people swatch their eyeshadow palette, especially this one. Like, Bling Boss was beautiful. I loved that palette. I, I think it's a great palette. I really enjoy playing with it. But uh, I've seen people do swatches and they look amazing and then other people do swatches and it's like, whoa, what's wrong with this palette? But I don't really mind, honestly, how they swatch on my arm. As long as they perform well on my eyelids, then I'm okay with it. But yeah, so if you want to see what look I create, with this eyeshadow palette because I really like these colors. I think they're so unique and so out of my comfort zone. Like I honestly wouldn't gravitate towards these colors. So that's why I'm really intrigued to use these shades. So if you want to see what look I create, then just keep on watching. All right, so I have my eyelids primed and set. I did put some scotch tape on the sides of my eyes just to make it more clean and cut. So I'm gonna go in with the first shade, which is, shh. I can't say like, the, shh. I can't say I had to, shh. Um, and it is this cool tone brown, which is this shade right here, and it's really a pretty shade I'm gonna use that all over the crease For this shade. I remember last time there wasn't that much kick up like I would coat my brush and yeah It's coated and everything excuse its dirtiness. This is the same brush. I used last time like I separated those brushes and I guess because there was blues and greens on the other brushes it got dirtier so there isn't much kick up like it's just a little bit like a really light like nothing 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 major and I'm fine with that I really don't care but so I'm gonna put that all over the crease Alright, I scoot you guys in because I feel like you were too far away from me. But now I'm going to go into the next shade. And um, that cool tone brown uh, shade, it's it's there. It's not as that noticeable, right? But I just put it on my crease. I, it's, I don't know. It could be more pigmented, I guess. It just looks weird. It's ashy. I don't know. 
this shade doesn't really impress me it's just like i don't know if i use this palette again it's probably one of the shades i wouldn't really reach for it's just like eh to me i'm not really that impressed by it all right so now i'm gonna go into potion which is this shade right here and it says olive green i love this shade i think it's so pretty and this one has more kickback than the first one let me show you you see that i'm gonna just and there's actually when you dust off your your like brush it actually shows eyeshadow coming off the other one just didn't put that in the crease as well a little bit below the first shade but just you know and i'm gonna bring it all the way in Okay, so I went into the shade four times. I dipped my brush back into the pan four times. And so this shade is definitely buildable. As you can see, the first time I went in, it was just very light. It was just like, you couldn't even tell the shade was green. Or you can't really, but as I kept going in. Of course, it's a buildable shade. I think it's a really pretty shade, honest. So far, look, everything looks blended. It doesn't look patchy or anything. The next shade I'm going to go into is Inside Job, which is this shade right here. It is a dark forest green with a hint of blue now that I think about it. It looks like it, but it's probably not. So I'm gonna go into this shade and I'm just gonna put that in the outer part of my crease. And this is the eye where I had, this eye I'm doing right now, it's the one eye where I had that streak, like I was like, why is it not blending out? So let's hope, I'm gonna go in with a light hand, like a really, really light hand. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Let me give you thoughts. Uh, my thoughts on Inside Job. Okay, so last time I did have a difficulty with it blending, but I feel like this time it was so much easier. It blended out so much better. I like how it looks. Well, not this one. This one, I like how it looks. I think the transition from dark to the light uh, potion color, I love it. I'm obsessed with this looking. Um, so this is what the final look is going to look like. But um, I really like it so far. I think it blended out so much better this time. Off camera, I'm going to do a full cut crease and i'll be right back all right so now that i have my cut crease done i'm not gonna set it and i'm gonna go in to trickery which is this shimmery green right here and i'm just gonna put that in the tail of my crease my cut crease and just all the way not not even half like one third one fourth the way in actually and yes Now I'm going to go into Diversion, which is this shade right here, oh, where are you? right here, and I'm going to put that on the rest of the lid. Right here, I'm going to leave that bare because another shade is going to go there. The shade is so pretty and so freaking pigmented. Actually, go in one finger. Like, I just press it. Look at that. I just, like, literally all I'm doing is pressing this shade into my lid. And basically just covered my entire lid. I'm gonna go into Power Cut, which is this shade right here. Like, that's what it looks like. And let me see. <gasps> see, that's pretty, right? These are such pretty shades. I'm obsessed with them. But I feel like it's more of like a, a topper kind of shade. Like, I tried putting it uh, in the inner corner of my i last time like right here like an all over lid and it, i was just like it was not doing it for me like no so that's why i went in with um diversion all over the lid this time and i knew that i was gonna put um power cut up there to give it a little bit more of a glow and um that's exactly what i'm doing and i love it i think it's better as a topper kind of shade so I'm going to take this brush right here, a tiny little brush I used earlier. I cleaned it off, obviously. And I'm just going to put the power cut right there. This 
so the eyelids are done and I'm gonna do is add some wing liner and I'm gonna use the NYX epic ink liner which is this one right here I'm using this a lot lately I love this uh, eyeliner I think all right guys so I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera I am now going to do the lower lash line and um, I went ahead and put on some black liner I use the vintage by Jessica Lipskind 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 can't pronounce it but it is the smoky eye pencil this one right here I just use that as I guess as a guideline I don't know for what it's a nice pencil but it rubs up really easily so I'm gonna go into the palette again all right so I'm gonna take the shade potion and I'm just gonna run that all over my lower lash line all right so now I'm gonna go into inside job and I'm gonna put that as well All right, now I'm going to take a power cut and I'm just gonna put that right here. All right, so for eyelashes, I'm gonna go into these right here. This is a new pair from the brand Tres, I think it's Tres, Tres Chick Lashes. And they, I found these on instagram and uh these are in the shade of fierce and i think i like them i like i like the style of it like it's fuller on the outside and lighter on the inner like not as uh full and i'm really like they're so wispy they're so pretty i'm so excited all right guys this is the final look what do you guys think i think it's so pretty i actually like it better than the first time i did this look i think it's so much better so much more better planned out I guess I don't know how to explain it but I think it looks so much better than the first time I'm loving this look um final thoughts I guess on the palette uh, I like it I don't love it I like it I think the shades are buildable there are some shades that are so pretty for example diversion and power cut are some of my favorite I love potion um what is it what was the other shade uh Okay, I remember the name of it. I like trickery. Uh, I think it's a pretty cool shade. I think I'd like to put it all over my lid one time. I really want to try out the other shades, so I can't say it's a horrible palette because I actually like it. They actually blended out pretty nice this time for me. Give it a seven. Seven and a half out of a ten. I don't think I think I think it could be better. Yeah, I'm sure it could use a little bit of improvements. But overall, I really like the palette. I think I think Jacqueline did a good job. Um, yes, I am literally obsessed with this look. I think it's so pretty. These eyelashes, though, they're fierce. I have never worn such fierce eyelashes since I started wearing falsies or even trying to wear falsies. I still don't wear them as much because they're still a bit weird for me. Like, really? But um, these are so pretty, so freaking dramatic. They're, they're literally fierce. They're really fierce. Like, I actually enjoy playing with it this time around. I think last time because I was a bit rushed because at a certain time I had to leave to go to work, and I wasn't just didn't really concentrate and take my time. I was just doing everything in a hurry, so I guess that's why I wasn't really like happy with the outcome. But this time around, I'm obsessed. I love it. I think it's so pretty. I just can't get enough of it. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys think of the look. Do you guys like it? Do you guys hate it? Let me know. Also, did you guys get your hands on any of the palettes? And if you did, let me know which ones. Do you like it? Uh, should I check out Armed and Gorgeous and Ring the Alarm? Just let me know. So yeah, guys. Uh, also, please do not forget to subscribe. I would really, 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 really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!